After triumphs at Everton and in a Champions League victory in Napoli, Jessica Parker wants a fresh challenge. Real Madrid have requested her to take over as manager after only finishing 7th and qualifying for the Europa League last season. As the new manager of Real Madrid, she is looking to replace and sell the aging players and to sign fresh new faces for the future of Real Madrid. So as the fans rejoice and celebrate at the appointment of Jessica Parker as their new manager of Real Madrid, so will Jessica Parker be able to handle the pressure of being the manager of Real Madrid? Or will she be set in sail with a sinking ship and capsize? So to find out, sit back, grab that popcorn, because it's time for the kickoff. Attention is palpable and you can understand why two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. The tension is really building in the UEFA Europa League. We're into the round of 16. It is Manchester United, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we're down to the last 16, and we've got some really good sides left in the competition. Two of them are on show here tonight. Let's hope we get some open attacking football in this first leg. Chance perhaps. Just can't get it past him. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Matthijs de Ligt plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Sergei Milinkovic Savic plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Timely intervention. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. comes the corner and a super header it looked as though it might be going in you take this on well somehow the goalkeeper got to it well, here we can see it again incredibly close but the correct decision no goal played over that's the clearance that was needed Giving him too much space. Chance here, and the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, I 
thought that would be the lead for them, and so did she. But certainly some encouraging signs here. So back in action, and it's up to United now to be inventive. Amin Adli. Well, looking dangerous here. Can he put it away? Couldn't quite hang on. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. Garcia. Plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Yes. Position seeded by United. And Diogo Costa has it now. Fran Garcia. And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. Textbook defending inside the box. A decent position this for United to find themselves in. Full credit. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. And it fizzled out. United could be onto something. And Ambia. And now Rashford. Still possibilities. pair of hands did his job well a foul but the advantage with Real Madrid but it didn't end up being a significant advantage and so a free kick here substitution for Real Madrid of stoppage time that's what the officials have said and Diogo Costa has it now and so the referee blows the whistle we've reached the halfway point here at Old Trafford well he's got a few things right in this first half but not everything well, it's not just him to be fair I think the whole team haven't been at their best it's going to take a spark though to turn this around and hopefully he can be the one to provide that It is advantage Real after the first 45 minutes, but there's a long way from being settled. Oh, nice.
loose ball over the top. Well, credit to him for the challenge and a throw in conceded. Milinkovic Savic. Rashford. Trying to open up the defence. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Well, this is the home of live football. And we have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Real Madrid in position. And the goalkeeper has with that save and United will switch things around personnel wise and he's fired over the corner and nodding it just over. Well, once he gets his head on it, that's a chance, I think. situation defensively well it could be on for him here and it's in Real Madrid firmly in charge here well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. 30 minutes left for play. United might be able to cash in. The supporters want to see him have a go. My goodness, that save, what a stretch he was. One for his own highlights reel. Here's a change for Manchester United. to get it out of there. This is looking threatening. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. still on danger averted for now Calabria pulls it back that's a good press forward we had a flexion off the defender there substitution then let's see how it affects the match Rashford, 
Lukaku at that time. And now Martinez. Effective piece of pressing. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Has eyes for goal. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Corner given to Real Madrid. to take it short here turning inside where's he going to go stopped a sure fire goal well good effect of pressure and the free kick awarded to Manchester United left for play yes. Jaden Sancho and he stopped them in their tracks Kukchu counter attacking possibilities they need to get bodies back Comfortable piece of defending. Scott McTominay. Here's Milinkovic Savage. He continues his run. Playing advantage here. United keep it. The challenge that was required and the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order oh, tremendous vision no danger now Jaden Sancho and Rashford Milinkovic Savic Sancho teammates in the middle them under the course. Oh, he's done it! Can you believe what we've just seen? Well, just look at this. He couldn't have hit it any better, could he? This is the perfect example of a bicycle kick. Well, she's so frustrated. She knows this will be tense now. The final whistle, and Real Madrid hold the advantage going into the return leg. Well, I thought they were the better side. They controlled the flow of the game and looked dangerous going forward. But they'll need to perform just as well in the second leg to go through. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.
I would like to thank everyone who watched this video. If you did like the episode, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and leaving a like. It really does help a lot. If you're really liking the series so far, then consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button. Then the bell icon so you can get notified when new and future videos go live. Please consider leaving a comment about today's question of the day, or just a comment with any of your own thoughts or questions. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. And goodbye.